Hi, my name is Deanna and I'm a product manager at Zebra Technologies and today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to upgrade firmware on the ZQ 521 Premium Rugged Mobile Printer. Before we dive deeper into the ZQ 500 upgrade process, let's talk a little bit about the ZQ 500 series. So the ZQ 500 is our premium rugged class of mobile printers that's available in a 3-inch and 4-inch print width for receipt and label printing. The printer is built to last and it's ideal for harsh, demanding applications that require defense against shock, vibration, dust, and water. This printer has a wealth of information on Zebra.com and I encourage you to go to the ZQ 500 landing page and learn more about this printer. With Zebra Mobile Printers, there's a number of ways that you can upload the firmware on the printer. For example, you might use Zebra's setup utility for uploading firmware, or you might consider using a remote management tool such as Printer Profile Manager Enterprise if you have a Wi-Fi printer and want to upload in the field. Before we go any further, let me show you how you can find the setup utility and the printer profile and manager enterprise on zebra.com. First, go to the ZQ500 landing page, select support. We're going to select the ZQ521 support since I'm going to upload firmware on this printer later. You want to scroll over to software, and here you'll find the Zebra setup utility, which is available for download. And you'll also find um, a few levels down the Printer Profile Manager Enterprise application, which is a license-based application available for a fee. So now that you've learned a few ways to upload firmware on the printer, let's talk about a unique feature only available on the ZQ500 series, which is USB on the go. USB on the go allows you to upload the firmware via the USB interface port on the printer. This feature is ideal for Bluetooth use cases where the printer is deployed in the field at multiple locations and requires a firmware upgrade. Instead of shipping the printers to a central location, an upgrade can be performed in the field, minimizing downtime. Since the ZQ500 printer is not a host device, but rather a client device, the first step to initiate the USB upload is to change the printer to host mode. To do this, you will need a USB on the go cable, which we have available through Zebra as you can see on the slide, as well as a USB flash drive or a USB on the go flash drive. The flash drive must be formatted to FAT32, which is a de facto standard file system for compatibility across computers and other devices such as game consoles with the USB port. The first step in the process is to make sure that your flash drive is formatted properly using Windows. So you'll want to right click on Windows and then select Disk Management. From there, you'll see a selection where you'll want to pick the new Volume D flash drive and you'll want to select Format. Okay, so then after selecting Format, you'll want to verify that the file system shows FAT32. Currently, it's showing EFAT, so that's not correct, so you want to change it to FAT32. You want to perform a quick format and then you want to select OK. From here, you might come to another screen that's just you know, asking you to verify that you indeed want to change the format, which you do. You want to select OK, and now your flash drive is formatted properly. Now that we have the flash drive formatted properly, we need to set up the file structure on the flash drive in preparation for downloading the firmware. The file system on the flash drive should have a file structure comprised of a top-level folder entitled Zebra, and then there will be three subdirectories within the Zebra folder. And for purposes of time, I've already basically set this up. So if you go into the Zebra folder, you will find a Apple folder or application folder, a commands folder, and files folder. All of these folders should be in lowercase. The applications folder is used to house the printer firmware. The commands folder is used for setting changes such as modifying the print tone or changing the sleep mode timeout feature. And finally, the files folder is used for any updates to images or fonts for the printer. Next, we will need to install the firmware for the printer on the flash drive. Zebra firmware is available on zebra.com. In order to get to the firmware, what we want to do is navigate from the home page to 
products, mobile printers, and then we're going to select the ZQ521 printer because we're going to load the firmware on the 521. You want to click on learn more and then you'll navigate down to the support page. From the support page, you will want to navigate to firmware. And then basically from the firmware page, you'll want to scroll down to the bottom until you see the printer operating system firmware, which is Link OS 6.7, dated June 24th of 2022. Click on the download function. You'll need to review and approve the end user license. Um, I've already reviewed it, so we're just going to bypass that. And we're going to accept and download the firmware. Once the download is complete, the next step is to extract the zip file. This is done um, quite easily, as you can see here from the screen. And then once the file is extracted, you will see a number of different files within this folder, including the release notes as well as the firmware, which ends in .zpl. The .zpl file should be moved to the flash drive and placed into the applications folder. The final step in the process is to insert the USB on the go cable into the printer's USB interface port to perform the upgrade. The printer is downloading the firmware as you can see. And when it's complete, it will perform a restart. And here you go, the printer's restarting. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the ZQ500 series and the USB on-the-go feature. Thank you.